All right, we are now home. We just drove 30 miles home from the Pleasant Prairie Supercharger, and uh, it's, it's it's snowing out, as you can see on the uh, night vision. We got both night vision and thermal going right now. Kind of neat. I wonder if there's someone who makes an app for thermal vision for those VR goggles things. As you can see, my my house leaks like there's no tomorrow heat wise anyways um, we did lose uh, uh, autopilot and tra uh, crew traffic or cruise control on the way home due to slush buildup on the radar uh, it's melted now but just I wanted to okay now uh, about a, two weeks ago I showed a video of the autopilot camera uh, using its heat uh, thermal you know heat strips to or defrosters to cool I mean melt the snow on it so I thought let's see if we can get the radar see what the radar is doing and I'm not sure how well my regular camera is picking this up but uh, thermal let's just go down at the plastics 18.5 degrees Fahrenheit. If we go up, the you can see the radar puck. Now, for those that are unaware, this is the non-refreshed Model S. So this is the original style autopilot design. It's in my hand, and it physically it does feel warm to the touch. And now that I just touched it, uh, now that I just touched it, I mean you can tell that here watch put my hand here take my hand away and you can see I left a, a thermal after image um, so if we go just slightly up 19.6 slightly down 20 so let's calibrate sensor again calibrating Thirty about thirty-seven degrees that the uh, the radar is staying at, and it's it's really not dr eh, it's dropping a little bit, but it's been about twenty minutes since we got home, approximately, and uh, it, it, twenty minutes since we got home, and it's still showing that. Uh, you can see the heat from the Xeon headlights. Uh, got uh, some heat from the wheels and the. But not but let's take a look now I'm not expecting this to really work because um, well because of reflective glass here watch you can see the infrared reflection of my hand above the window let's go inside the car real quick here because it's starting to get cold and still fairly warm in here but uh, see uh, okay you can see the camera reflection I mean it feels slightly warm but uh, here let's calibrate again Clear. You guys see the heat sink fins on it. Um, so I can't, I, I doubt, let's go back outside. I doubt, I doubt the autopilot strip was on. Uh, uh, I guess it's a little hard to tell. Uh, Let's see. Say what now? Huh. That's cool. The infrared uh, little beam for the. Uh, uh, oh, what are they? Oh, hey, there's it. Wait. Uh, everything's melting on the windshield, anyways, because the the car is still too warm. But um, well, all right here.
right here, and you can see it on the normal camera, because um, that's infrared light, although it doesn't, it's not picking up on my thermal, uh, but on the regular camera right there, you can see the infrared light. Um, that's the same as what was on the original Tesla Model S cars, uh, non-autopilot as it showed. I guess it bounces an infrared beam onto the glass, and depending on how it reflects back is what controls the automatic wipers. Now, you can't see it in the camera or thermal, the flashlight. Okay, never mind. I thought there was holes there. Uh, there's the two connection points. Can you guys even see that? Yeah, right there. You can see the two round circles right there. Those are the connection points with the where the defroster goes. And you know what? It just might be on. It's not, I physically can't tell well enough, but it does look like the snow is melting at a quicker pace right there than it is the rest of the windshield. But I mean, it's it's negligible, so I really can't tell. But um, it's been a few more minutes, and it's getting a little breezy out. Let's see, do we still have autopilot heat now that the car is shut? It is still a little warm. I have to calibrate again. Excuse my fingers. Calibrate. Let's see, what are we at? All right, it cooled down, but uh, now that, I don't know, I mean, I really can't say if that is due to heat from the radar being used or heat being generated by a defrosting element. Now, um, some videos and information was put out. All the cameras and sensors on the Autopilot 2.0 um, I'm not sure if the radar is included, I mean the sonar is included or not, but the radar, all the cameras on the Autopilot 2.0 are uh, heated, same as the Autopilot camera. Uh, it has uh, some sort of heating element inside that melts snow, ice, slush, whatever off of them to allow it to see. Um, I still don't know if that's going to be enough in slushy weather or not uh, for the system to see or not. We'll find out. It's enough rambling. Night, folks. Smile, cheese.